In this space is written in white on a light blue paint at the top of a long white panel of duck cloth fabric. Red velvet drapes tied with gold cord and tassels frames black fabric stiffened by cardboard. On the black fabric are typed words on white, like the credits in a movie that read, Middle School Horror Story presents an abusive production. It mostly happened in public spaces. Lead cast, a survivor, me, a rapist, him. Supporting cast in rape culture, bystander, slash first person told, slash blamed, me, middle school friend. Bystander in the movie theater, a mother with her children. Bystander in the movie theater, his friend a few seats away. Bystanders in the movie theater. Bystander slash heard me called a bitch slash chalked it up to a lover's quarrel. Middle school principal. Bystander, a teacher who didn't tell. Halfway down the panel, typed words read, you didn't have the right to contact me to try to bring yourself peace of mind. You don't deserve it. Emailing me was scary for me. You interrupted my space. I had left. You found me in a new place. No space was safe. Subject, please take the time to read this letter from your past. Where to start? First off, I just needed to let you know a few things. Most of all, I will never email you again or make any attempt to contact you in any way or form. Please keep reading. I'm sorry and I know no matter how many times or how I say it can never make up for what I did. One time I asked you what I could do to change things. You told me to think about it every day because you did. I tell you now that I do every day. Every time I talk to a girl, I think about you and have to ask myself, can I treat her right or am I going to mess it up and treat her wrong? What I did to you was wrong. I had manipulated you. I lied to you. I played off your emotions. I used you love or care you had for me for my gains. And you still can't say the word for what you did to me? Say the word for what you did to me. I did not always know I was doing it. I did not meet you and think, how can I use this person? I wanted to do what was right. I could sit here and tell you that it was the way I was raised, and it may have been, but I'm not blaming my actions on anyone but me. If I had never met you, I would be nowhere. I would be living on the streets or in jail. You and your mom showed me there was a better way. You showed people were good, because before you, everyone in my life cared more about themselves than anything else. I recently came home from overseas and things were tearing me up inside. I talked with a counselor. She told me I should get this out. Right now, just thinking of it all brings tears to my eyes and I shake. You know, you may not believe this, but you taught me how to respect a woman. I traveled a great distance and when I see how other countries or people treat women, I think of you. What you would do or say, how would you handle the situation? I try to emulate it. Nothing I can do can ever make things better. I know this, but I ask again, what can I do? How can I express my feeling to you? You know, I try not to even come home anymore. I will go to another country or city because when I see you, it tears me up again. I know that pain does not compare to yours or the way you feel. I just need to let you know. If you write back doing nothing but yelling at me, I understand and expect it. Pretty sure the words you are looking for are, I'm sorry I raped you, but maybe you didn't and don't know what it is called. I called it a lot of softer words too, molestation, until I was in class one day and I read about rape. It was rape. I left class and cried in the bathroom. Further down the panel, light blue fabric has been stitched on with white thread. The white thread makes loops around the words typed on white. I've not forgotten, but the memories aren't what they once were. I am a survivor. You don't own my life's story. I do. It's my life, my story, my strength.